Welcome back to my channel, everyone. Today, we're going shopping online at Zara Home. Zara Home has got to be my favorite, more affordable home decor store. They just have the best pieces that just look like they are from like a curated boutique or like a high-end store. Like they just really have it down. I really love their stuff. I've had quite a few different pieces throughout my home throughout the years from Zara Home. I'm definitely due for a little Zara Home shopping spree <laughs> because I have so many items saved in my cart and on my wish list from Zara Home. There are lamps that I've been eyeing for months. There are like those wool pillows that I've been eyeing. I've shared with you guys in past Zara videos. I love Zara Home. They have such, such good items. I mean, Truly, I think they're one of the best. <laughs> so we're diving right in because I have so many items to share with you, starting with these fabric little pendant lights. I think that these would be absolutely stunning in a nursery or child's room. I think that these are so beautiful. These are also extremely popular for dining rooms and really for any area. But for me personally, I really like these for a nursery. They're gorgeous. They come in this like ivory tone, more of like a linen ivory tone. And then they come in this gorgeous, almost like chocolate brown slash gray. I'm into these. I really, really like these. I saved three lamps because they're so good. I'm pretty sure I shared this ceramic table lamp with you, so I won't spend a whole ton of time. I'll put it back on screen just in case I didn't share it. But to me, this is just a timeless lamp. It looks very high-end. It looks like some of the, the lamps that I have seen in super high-end design projects. And it's beautiful. But the other two that I want to mention, one is this marble black tape, black marble table lamp. I may have shared this one as well, but I'm going to share it again and I'll just talk about it very shortly. I love this. I think that it's so beautiful. Marble is so timeless in my opinion. And I love that it's black, very different. I see a lot of white marble and you know, those sort of lamps, but oftentimes I don't see a ton of black marble. It's in this high shine, gorgeous, but probably my favorite lamp of all is this alabaster lamp. This is stunning. Now, for me personally, I think having natural materials like marble, alabaster, things like that really just elevate a space because they're natural materials. They're going to patina beautifully over time. They're gonna stand the test of time. They're going to, the quality's gonna uphold because they are natural materials. So this alabaster light, it's in the alabaster shade with the alabaster base. It has this gorgeous brass rim at the top of the base. It's so pretty. I love this lamp. I think it's absolutely stunning. And I think it could look good in so many different places, whether that's a kitchen, a desk, a side table, a bedside table. It just, it's so good. I love this lamp so much. I even thought that this would be really pretty in a bathroom. I really, cause you could like wipe it down really easily. It's gorgeous. Moving on, this mirror, when I first saw this mirror, I was like, mm, I don't know if I like it. But then when I saw how Zara Home had it styled, it sold me. Sometimes it takes me a minute to like an item or I have to see it fully complete to love it. And that's exactly what happened with this mirror. Now this mirror is, I think a replica of like an old style type mirror. I've seen these tons of times. It's kind of more in this like window pane pattern. But like I said, when I saw that how they had it styled, I was sold. I think it's so cute. I really, really love this. I also just watched a very high end home tour where they had a mirror that was, it was a, like a permanent mirror above their fireplace that had the flower detail that same that's in this on this mirror. So it made me like look at it in a new way and I love it because I didn't know if those looked cheap or if I loved them, but now I love them. <laughs> they sold me. <laughs> okay, I found four throw blankets. Again, I always share blankets, so I'm not gonna spend a ton of time on them, but the four that I found was this 
striped blanket. It has like this brown, or is that brown or is that black? Let me see. I think it's brown. No, it is like a deep maroon. I remember why I saved this. I thought it would be gorgeous. Or it's like a burgundy, I guess I should say, for the fall time. This would be so pretty for fall. So I saved that one. And you guys know I am obsessed with stripes. I absolutely love stripes. I don't know what it is. I can't get enough of them. I feel like I just really, really love them right now. So this striped blanket I thought was really beautiful. It looks like it's in like a blue. Oh, sometimes it's hard to tell. It, it might be black actually. It might be black. Stunning. It, it, black is, well, is it blue? <laughs> I can't tell. It looks blue, but no, it's black. It's black. Okay. Love. Gorgeous. And then this jacquard linen blanket. I've talked about this before, but a kind of tone on tone blanket or pattern, like even, like even on a pillow cover or anything like that, I love a tone on tone. I love that a piece looks like a solid from far away and you get up closer and you're like, oh my gosh, there's actually a pattern on that. There's something very, I don't know. It's like, it almost feels as if the piece wasn't given away from the beginning. You almost had to get closer and kind of invest a little more time in the piece to see that extra detail. I just, I really love that. And I really love this blanket. I think that this is, it actually kind of looks like those old blankets, those that we'd put at the end of a bed. I hope you guys know what I'm talking about. Anyway, I love it. I think it's beautiful. And then the blanket that I love the most is actually a bedspread. And I just love that this is more of a solid, but it has just two stripes down the side, which to me, having that detail that's very subtle, I've always loved. I just really kind of like the jacquard blanket I was just talking about. I love that extra little detail when you almost expect it to be a solid. I thought that this was absolutely beautiful. It's almost in this mousy deep gray or brown. <laughs> it's like a brownish gray. It's stunning. I also in my cart included the, the pillows that match that bedspread. So gorgeous and a stripe pillow that matched the black stripe throw blanket that I shared. That's also in my cart. They're just so good. I think those would be a really beautiful outdoor pillow. Absolutely stunning. Moving on to decor items. I saved a lot. First is this mini glass vase with this like detail on top. I thrifted a very similar one to this. It makes me feel like I already shared this with you, but I'm sharing it again, just in case. This vase, what I love about this vase is not only could you use it and put florals in it, but I love that you don't have to and that it's a, you know, a clear glass vase with so much detail. Oftentimes I find that we will put clay pots out or pots that are a little heavier and heftier and opaque. But being that this is a glass vase, I love that material added in and I love that it has a little bit more shape to it, a little bit more interest. Stunning. The one that I thrifted, I just keep out. I haven't even put any flowers in it ever. And I really love the, the, just the material it brings. It's just so much more delicate and I love that. So had to add that. And then I added these two iron taper candle holders. I love that these are a little bit more of that like distressed look. I love metal. You guys know I share a lot of iron pieces. I just thought that these were gorgeous. And then I also found these pack of two extra long candles. I remember when I did photography, it was so difficult to find these super long candles. Like you had to go to specific vendors to get them. Seeing these on the Zara Home website, I just was stunned and they are way better priced than what I paid back in the day for these. Like because they were so difficult to find, I feel like I overpaid for them. So pretty. I love different shapes and sizes to candles, especially if you're doing like a really nice dinner or you know anything like that where you want some different height. These are breathtaking. I also added this metal candle holder. It actually looks like it's a like terracotta, but it says it's metal. And I love that it has more of that like 
old world like pottery shape to it, but it's a candle holder. You could also use it as a, a vessel for your florals, whatever. You could do so many different things. I love pieces like this that you can use for multiple different reasons. And this is just so up my alley. I love anything that looks like this. <laughs> anything that has a little bit more of that southwestern feel always catches my attention even though i don't always bring it in my home i do always love it next in my car i have these decorative engraved wooden trays these are stunning i love that these have a little bit more of a feminine silhouette to them they're just absolutely beautiful they have that gorgeous like walnut tone to them these are stunning, I think mixed with white ceramic dishes and even silver mm, and linen, gorgeous. I talked about some spiral candles from Zara Home. I still have yet to have ordered those. I have loved those ever since I've seen them. And every time I see other spiral candles, they just don't compare to the ones from Zara. But then I saw these ones from Zara. So they say that they're spiral, but they're almost like twisted but not like two candles twisted. It's like one candle, it's almost like the candle was like melting and someone just twisted it. They're beautiful. They're in the more like natural tone. I love these. I think that they're stunning. Also added in these very thin candles. I thought these were really cute for birthday candles. So I kind of want to just get these and have them on hand. I like a little bit more of that organic look, kind of that natural look. So having these and put, putting these in like a homemade cake, I think would really help create kind of that like homemade vibe, if that makes sense. So I just, I loved these. And then the last set of candles that I added to my cart are these like dusty blue. They say blue green, but I feel like they're a little bit more of a dusty blue. These are gorgeous. These are so good. I think if you were to get any of the candles, get these and maybe the birthday ones too, even though they're not birthday, but would use them for birthday. <laughs> these are gorgeous. I think doing a very neutral tablescape or a neutral, put these in like a neutral area and let them be the star of the show. I really love these. I added a couple of baskets to my cart. First being this rectangular woven basket. I just loved the shape of this. I think it's beautiful. I think it's timeless. I think it's just gorgeous and something I would love to have in my home. What I love about Zara is the materials that they pick out. Like sometimes I don't love everything on their site, but I, and when I dig through the items that I love, it's like they pick out the best tones and materials and I just love their selections. They are so good. Like this basket, it's like in this perfect color. It is so beautiful. It says light beige. It's just so, so beautiful. And I'm very picky with baskets. Baskets can go either look really nice or really tacky really fast. These are gorgeous. I also really love this round rattan basket. I think that they had this displayed in like a kitchen scape. Let me look. Yes. So this one reminded me of those vintage baskets. If I can find one, I'll put it on screen. I love those, but when I saw this one, I was like, Ooh, I like that. It's new. It's going to be fresh. It's not going to be, you know, full of dust, especially if I'm using it in my kitchen. And I just loved this approach of this little basket that's a little bit taller than we normally see, full of lemons or, you know, whatever you want to put in there. I just really liked this take on displaying your lemons or limes or whatever in your kitchen. And that's what really sold me is how they styled it, to be honest. I also wanted to mention these two glass boxes. Now I've been sharing glass boxes on my channel for a long time and I have quite a few in my collection quite a few, like I don't need any more, but these were so beautiful and just in a different shape. So first we have this, it's a more rectangular, but it's tall. It has this white linen base. So it just feels like higher quality to me. And it just, I love that it's a little bit of a different take. And then there is this shorter one, very wide, but again, with that linen base at the bottom, it just, adds so much more detail and makes it feel 
a lot more high end. In my car, I have two of the, I have the smaller and the larger of the Acacia mesh colander. So it has these Acacia wood handles and then the silver mesh. Just again, pretty, do I need it? No, do I love it? Yes. I love it. I also really love this beach basket. I love that it's shorter. Sometimes those beach baskets get so big and you're digging in there, but this one's a little more shallow so you can maybe find your items a little bit better. But I'm a sucker for baskets. I love market baskets, French market baskets, beach baskets. They just add so much more charm to any event that you're doing and to your home. They're just so cute. I don't have a daughter. But if I did, I would buy this little doll stroller. I had to mention it, it was so cute and Zara has such cute toys. Oh my gosh, if I had children, I would be going to Zara to get them their toys and their things because they're so good. Even their decor, all of it. Zara Home, whoever is doing this, finding these items deserves a raise. They have exquisite taste. So this little doll stroller is so cute. It has like this ruffle edge. It's so cute. I absolutely adore this. I don't have anyone to buy it for, but maybe you do. So you should definitely get it. <laughs> and then I have two more baskets. I know I get into the baskets. I love baskets, but these metal baskets with the wooden handles, these are charming. I thought that these were absolutely stunning. If you have a garden or a citrus grove or whatever, these are so cute to just really help create that experience. You could use these specifically for your garden items. I just really love these. Okay, the last basket I'm going to mention is this rattan picnic basket. I had to include this because I love creating a gift basket. I think gift baskets are some of the best gifts that you can give. There's something about a basket that I feel like we all just love and you can kind of theme it out. So I've done tons of little gift baskets over on Reels over on Instagram. I think I've shared them here too on uh, shorts, but I thought this would be really cute for like a birthday basket or even like a, if someone just got a, you know, a house or an apartment or anything like that, you can put a bottle of wine in here and kind of fill it up with some things, but it's such a pretty little basket. I had to share it. Zara, I, this I think is a new uh, line from Zara or like a new set from Zara. It's this ceramic or cream color enamel and what is this? I'm not sure the material. It's, everything's in this cream and silver, but they have a cheese grater, they have a mixing bowl set, they have a colander, they have a mandolin. I love this set. I like the writing. I've always kind of been into that. I love, it just, I don't know, it's just cute, you know? But I love this little set because it's in the silver and the, the cream. So I thought it was beautiful. Had to share it. Also these ice cream cups, gorgeous. Do we do a little affogato in there? You could also do a cute little sorbet in there. Maybe some fresh fruit, a little parfait. Oh, so good. All right, I think that's all the items that I have for Zara Home this time. Honestly, I had to narrow down because there's such good stuff. All of these items will be linked down below for you to go check out. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that you enjoyed these finds. Thank you so much for shopping with me and I will see you guys in a couple days with another. Bye. I would say we were good together.